Hello and welcome to another episode of Pack Mentality here on ArizonaSports.com. My name is Vince Murata, and each week I take a look back at what happened in the Conference of Champions and what is ahead. What did we learn in week four? Well, we learned that Arizona State is pretty good at home. The Sun Devils pasted Utah 37-7 and have now outscored their opponents by an average of 39 points per game in three contests in Tempe. It'll be a while until ASU gets to play on their home turf again. Sun Devils have two road games in a row with a bye week wedged in the middle. We learned that Oregon State is a good football team. The well-rested Beavers came off a bye week and slowed down UCLA's potent offense, holding them 200 yards under their season average and allowing only two touchdowns in an impressive 27-20 road win. OSU quarterback Sean Mannion continued to play well. He's one of the most improved players in the league, throwing for 379 yards and two touchdowns. We learned that Colorado is indeed capable of winning a game when their opponents hand things over to them. Washington State led by 17 points in the fourth quarter. Colorado scored on a long touchdown pass from Jordan Webb to cut the lead to 10. With seven minutes to play, the Cougars continued to throw the football, opting to pass five times on their next six-play possession. Colorado scored on an 84-yard touchdown run by Tony Jones to pull to within three. Cougs got a 56-yard kickoff return by Teandre Caldwell to give Wazoo the ball at the CU 23-yard line, and Mike Leach kept throwing the football. The Cougars got a field goal to increase the lead to six, but only took a minute one off the clock and didn't force the Buffs to burn any of their timeouts on defense. Colorado went on a 12-play, 70-yard drive with Webb rushing for a four-yard touchdown for the win. Look, we know Mike Leach is stubborn, but you've got to run the ball or at least attempt to run the ball to burn the clock if you want to win this game. Washington State handed it over. And we learned that despite the improvement in Tucson, the Wildcats aren't quite ready for the prime time. Oregon crushed Arizona 49-0 in a game where the Wildcats squandered six trips to the red zone, coming away empty-handed each time. For the week, I won a very average 3-2 on my Pac-12 picks, bringing the season record to 28-10. In the latest rankings, four Pac-12 teams are in the top 25, with Oregon at number 2, Stanford 8th, USC 13th, and the Oregon State Beavers at number 18. Arizona and UCLA fell out of the rankings, but both did receive votes, as did Arizona State. This week, there are five more games on the slate, including the Thursday night special as the 8th-ranked Stanford Cardinal visit Washington in Seattle. I thought Washington would have trouble moving the ball against the ferocious Stanford defense going in. That was before the Huskies suffered another injury on the offensive line with guard Colin Tanagawa out for the year with a knee injury. I like Stanford in this one relatively easy, 31-17. UCLA will try to bounce back from their first loss under Jim Mora, and they should with a trip to Colorado on the schedule. Bruins are a 20-point road favorite in a conference game. What does that tell you? Colorado's not good. Even with the confidence from the win over Washington State, CU won't put up much of a fight. I like the Bruins 45-14. Second-ranked Oregon is on the road at Pullman to take on the Cougars. DeAnthony Thomas was somehow held out of the end zone against Arizona. He will get there early and often against Washington State. The Ducks will cruise 55-20. Arizona State is on the road in Berkeley where they haven't won since 1997. We'll get a chance to see if Todd Graham's team learned from their first road experience in Missouri, where they were toppled by the fact that they dug themselves an early hole and also were affected by some iffy play calling late in the game. The Bears trio of running backs Issei Sofeli, C.J. Anderson, and Brendan Bigelow might be the best in the conference, but ASU quarterback Taylor Kelly is playing with a lot of confidence right now. I like the Sun Devils in a close one, 27-23. And finally, the game of the week in Tucson will see the Arizona Wildcats break out the copper helmets for the first time as they host the surprising 18th-ranked Oregon State Beavers. OSU's defense has been solid, led by defensive lineman Scott Crichton. They don't force a lot of turnovers, only two in two games, but they do force a lot of punts. Beavers opponents, Wisconsin and UCLA, have punted 15 times, mostly because Oregon State is allowing just 14% conversion on third down tries. That is the best mark in the country. OSU has won five out of the last six years in this rivalry. I think that trend continues. I'll take the Beavers, 31-28. That'll put the wraps on another edition of Pack Mentality. For more insight, thoughts, and minutia on the Pac-12, and other things like why so many people send me requests to play Lucky Slots on Facebook, you can follow me on Twitter, at Vince Murata. I'm serious about the Lucky Slots people. Cut it out. My name is Vince Murata. Enjoy week five in the Pac-12, and we'll see you next week on Pac Mentality right here on ArizonaSports.com.